Hello there everybody and welcome to another BDSP battle. This is, I believe, our 15th? No, 14th battle actually, yeah. I've uh, been trying to look for some battles and then I found this. Yeah. Five Ubers and a Ditto. As soon as I saw that, I was like, you know what? This might be a challenge, right? Let's let's, let's do it anyways. Um, basically, I just wanted to try Shaman. My team isn't the best, but there you go. I have Tauros against this Giratina, and I'm like, oh, this Giratina. He has two Giratinas, not just one, two. I I stayed and went for Zen Headbutt, don't ask me why. I was still at the shock of the moment of, like, who am I battling and why. It's... <laughs> whatever, man. I He went for sub, and another Zen Headbutt is definitely not gonna break the sub, because it didn't do much, and... I believe an Earthquake isn't gonna break it either, because it's a Giratina, and I'm a Tauros. But, yeah, I'm just gonna try to break the sub. If he goes for another sub, I'm gonna know that this guy kinda knows what he's doing, but if he doesn't, if he goes for weird special attacks as he keeps going for, then I'm gonna know that this guy isn't, isn't top-notch. I don't know. He goes for Earth Power. Um, I'm actually gonna be able to survive that. I'm gonna send in my Milotic. My Milotic my is calm, especially defensive. And uh, Milotic does have the super effective Ice Beam, so it should be fine. So, yeah. We have this interesting game going on. So, yeah, I don't know why I just kept battling, but it's Ubers. And again, this could be challenging. So, yeah. Uh. Speaking of Pokemon battles, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing some older gens from now on, more than usual because this game is slowly going down, it's slowly dying, and we you know we did 14 battles in BDSP. That's it's a respectable number, I guess. So it's not too bad. Anyways, Ice Beam is doing a decent amount. He's not doing much to my to my Milotic, and uh, there you have it. Um, Starting April, I might start working on my Gen 4 special week. It's been almost a year since the previous one. And there's the freeze! And when I say Gen 4, I mean the actual Gen 4, not the Gen 4 remakes. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, in April, expect some Hard Gold Soul Silver battles, some uh, PBR battles, all mixed up in, a, in one week, which is gonna be called the Gen 4 special week. And of course, expect Gen 4 battles outside of the Gen 4 Special Week. It's just like, it's becoming a tradition to, at least once per year, have a Gen 4 Special Week. Hey, maybe we can have it more than once a year, because Gen 4, we all love that metagame. Um, Gen 1 Tradebacks, that's also something I'm gonna work on getting done. I know Master wants to see it, I know a lot of people want to see it, actually. And I know... One guy, um, he mentioned he wants the exclusives of Gen 1, like the exclusives of Pokemon Red against the exclusives of Pokemon Blue fa facing each other, which is definitely a great idea, and I'm also gonna work on getting that done as well. I missed my Leech Seed, and he keeps going for special attacks on my Shaman. Uh, little Shaman against big Ubers, come on Leech Seed, we need to be accurate. Because if we don't, if we're not accurate, we're gonna go all career. Because these are Ubers, and Ubers are no joke. So, um, since this Giratina isn't like the Giratina Origin, we're gonna be recovering a lot uh, from the Leech Seed. It's basically like Leech Seed in a Blissey, but yeah, it's Giratina. Then I'm gonna send an Arcanine just to intimidate it, because I knew like the Dragon Claw was coming, and I'm just gonna try to Will Wisp it. And after the Leech Seed, I'm actually gonna be at full HP, <laughs> which is amazing. So there's the Will-O-Wisp, um, we might burn this, but we missed. He goes for Shadow Force, uh, he's actually faster. I don't have anything that actually resists Shadow Force, so I'm gonna, you know, just stay and waste a Will-O-Wisp PP. Oh no, what a big deal. And actually take that really well, because this Arcanine is actually physically defensive. You just gotta love physically defensive Arcanine. It's it's an amazing set. Uh, back in Gen 5, 
The most popular Arcanine sets was the mixed attacker one with Wild Charge, Close Combat, Flare Blitz and Extreme Speed. But, you know, the defensive set is also one of the best. There's a Will-O-Wisp, we're gonna burn the Groudon. So that's gonna cripple him. Uh, his physical attacks shouldn't be doing that much now. So I'm thinking Milotic doesn't have a lot of HP, but since he's already crippled, maybe we should switch. But then I changed my mind, I was like, okay, the sun is already up, let's Flare Blitz. And Principal Blades, even with burns, it does way too much damage, and I'm gonna take a lot from the recoil. And I kind of want to keep my Arcanine, and this Groudon is apparently faster, so let's, uh, yeah, let's just switch into my Lodic. That's what that's what I was thinking earlier. Plus, um, you know, no, actually, I decided to sack Tauros because I didn't like the damage that Principal Blades were doing. He got a crit. Oh well, big deal. Plus, Tauros against this team, it just doesn't do much. I mean, Tauros is is the best Pokemon in Gen One, but this is not Gen One, and. He's the only one that's gonna be sent Al Carrer, sadly. So there's the Milotic. I know I can take it. I'm gonna try to recover. Because Milotic is gonna be very useful, especially against this team of Ubers. And we did manage to live with four, and there's the recover, and that's amazing. And uh, looking at the amount of HP he has, I'm thinking, you know, I'm just gonna scold him, it's okay. Uh. It doesn't matter, he went for Fire Blast, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm a bulky water type, even in the sun, you just... I don't know, I guess... I I have no idea. I legit have no idea. So let's... Uh, let's scold him. Because he's just gonna keep going for Fire Blasts. I bet this game has already died, because... <laughs> there aren't many people battling, and you have these guys a lot this is actually the fourth opponents that i got with the ogres and there's the frozen giratina which is just gonna die to the other ice beam yeah that's why i said you know 14 battles in bdsp that's a respectable amount i'm just gonna be focusing on the other battle uh, on the other gens and uh i wish arceus pokemon legends arceus had wi-fi because I really like that game. I didn't enjoy collecting wisps for Spirit Tomb. That's something I need to talk about. That was just dumb. Reminds me of the Zygarde cells, but this is worse because it's an open world. I don't know about your experiences with that, but that's something definitely not enjoyable. I didn't finish doing that because it's so lame. Like, what's the point? His Ditto used Transform on my Milotic, trying to give me a taste of my own medicine, but luckily I do have Raichu, which is able to manage to take that Skull, didn't get burned, and another Thunderbolt will finish him off. But yeah, if that game had Wi-Fi, uh, it would have been crazy. But the mechanics of that game are kinda crazy, like you see like a level 50 Pokemon not being able to KO a level 4 sometimes, which is like... Are my Pokemon bad? Do they have bad like, IVs? But apparently that's normal. It's just the mechanics being awkward, but... It's definitely a really good game. Like, I definitely enjoyed that a lot. Except for what I talked about, but that's besides the points. In comes Mew. I'm gonna stay in with my Raichu. I have Specs Raichu and Specs Espeon, because I'm crazy like that. Uh, Thunderbolt is gonna do over half, and guess what? He's actually gonna go for transform again! This guy loves copying me, just keep copying me, I have no problem whatsoever, just be my fan, I have no no problems as I said. I have static, I don't have lightning rod, I could have stayed in, but no, I'm just gonna go into Espeon, Espeon can take special hits, he goes for focus blast, so this looks like the perfect prediction, even though it wasn't, and the psychic will finish off the Raichu, the battle will end in three minutes, can we actually beat him under three minutes. Is it gonna be possible? Let's find out. So I'm gonna send an Arcanine um, because I believe this Giratina, his second Giratina, is actually his last Pokemon. So we have to intimidate him. Payback did absolutely nothing. And since the timer is running, I'm like, okay, you know what? Since this battle is already won, let's just try to do as much damage as possible and actually beat him down before the timer runs away, because if that doesn't happen, I'm not gonna count it as a win. Even though I'm gonna win, because my Milotic is at full HP and there's no way he's gonna kill it. Um, I'm not gonna count it 
as a win if I don't kill him under 60 seconds. Can we actually do it? Arcanine Flare Blitz! That's not gonna do much, obviously, because it's a Giratina. He's gonna... Or Sphere, that's gonna finish off our Arcanine. And, uh... Under a minute, come on, can we do it? Let's find out. Uh, let's go Shaman. I could have easily went into Espeon, Shadow Ball, but that's just too easy. We like challenges. Oh boy, 30 seconds. Oh, he lived the Air Slash, but he got a crit. That did nothing because of the burn, but as I said, the burn will be able to finish him off. And we did manage to beat him before the timer runs out, and that's gonna be the battle. And I'm gonna take a huge break from BDSP. So hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the other gens. And allons-y.